Nobadiena. In this episode, we gonna cast a feather inside of uh, epoxy resin, and we're gonna make a lamp out of it, similar as this one. Okay, so what I have here is uh, my two-piece mold made of a uh, plywood covered with uh, some uh, phenolic film or something. Just a very fine surface, nothing more. Okay, and, and I made it in two pieces, so after casting cures, I can take out the screws and put it apart. Very simple. After I will screw it together, I will spray the inside with the mold release and for double safety I will put this aluminium tape around all the edges so it will not leak. So the client wanted one crushed feather on the bottom and one floating feather in the mid-air. So I sprayed it with the lacquer and it's stiff enough for the resin. Hopefully it will stay okay. Uh, but now I have the problem how to fix it, this in one place so while pouring it wouldn't shift or move or float or anything. So. Uh, I'm thinking to use these bamboo sticks and some CA glue and stick it to the to the sticks and this bottom on the on the horizontal stick and put it in the bottom and this uh, floating one with the vertical bamboo stick and put it on the side and I sand the form after casting anyway so I will sand down these sticks until they gone. Overall it looks quite okay, but I'm worried that when I start sanding I can hit this this part of the feather. So I, I'm thinking to take it out from here, cut a, a spine from, from this feather and extend this one a little bit farther from the corner. So it would aesthetically look even better. So today's have passed, it's solid already and I can feel that it will probably pop out of the mold without even taking it apart. Yeah. But I can see that it turned out yellowish somehow. Uh, I'm not sure what caused it. Overall it looks really really good inside. There's a few bubbles, but most of them are against the walls, so these should sand off really easily.
So as you noticed, it's clogging the sander quite a bit. I have to uh, clean it quite often. But now I've sanded it to 120. It's looking really promising, really nice. But I found a few open bubbles uh, where the feather uh, meets the wall and on the bottom as well. So often what I do, I take a little bit of uh, thin CA glue and make a few drops into, the, into those uh, open bubbles. Okie dokie, so I've wet sanded this by hand to 400 and next step is to spray lacquer it but before doing that I would like to measure the dimensions of my base so the, while the, the lacquer dries I can work on the base. So in my older versions I attached the base with the magnets and use the LED bulb inside and the wire with the with a switch on it but I don't think this will work on, on this one because it's clear casting it has no inclusion inside so when I drill uh, the holes for the magnets it will be very visible like for example in this corner so and another problem is that this kind of dictates with which is the front and which is the back because the wire obviously has to be on the back and I don't think that's a, a good design solution so I would like to dump the idea of the of the wired lamp and I would rather prefer using uh, battery powered LEDs. I bought a couple of those, one with a warm light and uh, other with a cold light. And since this one is already yellowish, I don't think this, this one looks good. I mean it's okay, but I don't really like it. I think this looks way way better. So now I, all I have to do is to take this one apart and to figure out how to how to install the switch and how to install this piece into the base. But first of all, let's uh, spray this piece and reveal the beauty inside. Before spraying the lacquer, I realized I would love to leave the the bottom uh, with the matte finish. So it kind of distribute the light better. So I will uh, mask it. So I did a bit of a lousy job when I was sending this one because when the lacquer uh, cured, I can see uh, tiny scratches. So I guess I'll re-sand it and spray it one more time. I accidentally sanded it to 1000 grit. At least I will be sure that there will be no scratches now.
I have my measurements. Oops, what's that? Oh. How convenient. It's exactly the size I needed. So I guess all I have to do is to hollow this thing out to fit my light inside. Oh, and uh, I've scuffed this uh, lens so it would disperse the light a little bit better. And also I'm planning to put couple of layers of this uh, acrylic which is designed for the light boxes I had a few off cuts so I'll just use it above the lamp here's my plan I will I will apply this uh, masking tape on my piece I will hot glue it to the surface and since this chipboard uh, countertop is almost the same thickness as this one, so I will make a hole in the middle and I will put it through the same level as this surface. So I would have the flat surface to write my water with the template on top of this. So I will explain a little bit what I've done. I've put these furniture bumpers 
these two a little bit out of line to this side so the lamp would would want to tip back it's a little bit off center on purpose to tip it back and uh, you might ask you, you might ask why I've used double sided tape instead of epoxy or other glue so it's very simple because it's kind of visible from the top and from the sides and I, did, I and I really wanted that consistent line and you know with the glue you get an inconsistent squeeze out and you can't do anything about it so that's the main reason but this tape is really strong I've used it before had no problems so and that's basically done looks great for me what do you think well thanks for watching